an interesting development regarding Italy and Spain concerning clubs because this is something I've talked about previously with the Emidi Lenz thing um, and Nina Kravitz going to places, Jamie Jones played, um, somebody else as well, I forgot, loads of other, you know, tech house business tech over people. Um, <coughs> I guess it looks like, oh, this is an article here from Euro News, it says the following. <coughs> Sorry, hey, people got dry and cough today. It says the following, it says, Coronavirus, Italy closes nightclubs as authorities blame holidaymakers for new outbreaks. So, the Italian government moved to make masks mandatory between 18, between 6 and 4 a.m. in an effort to curb the spread of coronavirus after recording over 600 new cases on Saturday. Almost 800 others on Sunday and nearly three times more last week. The country, which was the first Europe to Western Europe to institute a lockdown, also closed nightclubs amid the uptick in cases. Unlike the first coronavirus outbreak, which uh, saw affected, which uh, saw f- affected mostly Lombardy and other northern areas, the second wave struck much more uniformly across the country with hundreds of local outbreaks. On Sunday, the region recording the most cases was Lazio in central Italy. Um, the another different from the March and April outbreak it says here pause this was oh god no stop no but outbreak pandemic is that the average age of those getting infected has dropped dramatically to 39 which is definitely in line with all the people going out raving and stuff um it says here health minister roberto spare speranza 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 yeah roberto speranza has called on the youngsters to give a hand in keeping the outbreak under control during an interview with the italian newspaper la repubblica published on monday he also ruled out the opening of a reopening of schools will be delayed but warned no mistake can be made at this stage health authorities have also pointed out the rise in covid cases partially to blame but on holiday makers as travelers coming from croatia greece malta and spain have now begun to be tested upon arrival to italy which um with 30,000 test kits dispatched to the rome airports of campi of campi and Flumencino on Sunday only. This is the quote. Depending on the region, 25% to 40% of the new cases are recorded among people returning from holiday uh, or from foreigners living in Italy. <coughs> President of the Super Superior Council of Health, Franco Lucatelli, told the Italian newspaper um, Il Correra della Sera. He also stated that Frey. F- 3% to 5% of the new infections are coming from migrants. That is mad. And again, this may be um, put some blame on those DJs playing out there, isn't it, at this time. Again, it's hard to blame the DJs because if the promoters don't put on the events they don't play, right, they're sort of like hired guns. Uh, they're sort of like um, what electronic music prozies in that regard, right? Is that way to... It's not, really, it's not really kind to say that, but hey, you get what I mean, right? If the events are not on, DJs can't play. But there's also a responsibility for the DJs to kind of think about it holistically and be like, hey, what message am I sending out there going out to play at a packed venue? Especially the ones I show you the videos proud that me lens very she's playing at. These are not some, you know, wishy-washy um, in some random crusty warehouse place. These are like proper productions, right? Proper produced events with PA systems and lighting and, you know, great bars and good spacing and just, you know, very, very well done. So to put on these events could give people the wrong impression about what's happening with Corona, especially when you consider how hardly hit or how badly hit Italy was, um, you know, in the in the early stages. It, it probably they probably owed it upon themselves to be a little bit more cautious. But I also understand that you know the Italian economy is probably suffering greatly due to COVID. Was suffering greatly prior to COVID, so I can only imagine what they're suffering now. Do you know what I mean? So they probably were stuck between a rock and a hard place we're like hey man we need to really open up the economy we need to get people back here we need to get tourism back here again we need to crank it up again and get people back traveling around our region because we cannot risk having the entire year completely off the books when it comes to tourism right but i don't know man if you're those djs you're you're gonna have to feel a little bit of guilt around the situations going on especially people that play that played in spain i know sarah kim played there um some club in spain were reopened they had like social distancing there as well obviously we saw the videos of bibi playing in places as well i just think you know again it's just it just doesn't seem like the right thing to do now in 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 that respect you would assume people would be a little bit more uh a little bit more cautious about going out especially in these times but i guess what you have seen is 
people are aware of how bad it looks because you don't see any of these guys posting videos of themselves playing in these places. They're just uploading pictures of them post set or maybe they're uploading some random indescript picture of them in a place that happened to be the place where they're playing at, but not in front of a crowd, right? I mean, Lenz didn't post any footage of her playing in that um, possession party the other week or a couple of weeks ago. So they obviously know what they're doing is quote unquote bad, but there is a part of me that's also like, hey, there, it, most of the blame has to be put to the feet of the promoters, right? If they're willing to put on these events at this kind of scale, they have to bear some of the responsibility. It's not the responsibility of the DJ. They don't, they like, a DJ shouldn't be responsible for the health and safety of, an, of a venue or for the, it, it be up to code. It should be, you know, whoever owns the building, whoever's putting on the event to make sure all the T's are, all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted so that the artist can come and do their job and go home. I did, especially in the beginning when I used to DJ, when I DJed in the beginning, one of the horriblest things to go through was when you had to do those things where you'd have a promoter that asked you to sell tickets to for the gig. Like you, you get booked for a gig, you get paid some measly rate, and then on top of that, they'd request you to sell tickets, right? That was always the worst thing because, like, hey, that's not my job. My job here is to play. You want me to play at your night because you thought my sound could uh, be a good addition to what you guys have got going on. It could keep people dancing on the dance floor, whatever it is, right? You brought me in for a certain uh to do a certain role when it comes to selling tickets that should be predominantly down to you i have no sell in this whatsoever do you know what i mean the most i can do is basically share your bloody flyer on my social media feed and even that it's like ugh, no i'm joking but yeah you do, do you know what i mean um so i think that the blame should be really laid at the feet of the promoters and really the partners going because to break your to break lockdown to go see michael bibby play in this sort of environment is really weird because he does this every year anyway it's not like a unique experience i guess for him it's probably cool because he gets to get out of his house and again you know he's a decent enough producer a, a good dj and he's all right in, in that scene in the tech house scene but it's not as if you're like going to something like oh my god this is like oh an eye-opening experience i can't miss this like he literally plays the same gig the same places for the same people every single year the same all that crowd though the whole tech house crowd it's not as if they're like or uh, you know like there's nothing groundbreaking about anything they play the music that i don't know do you know what i mean like so for you to go there as a punter you have to really take a look at yourself in the mirror to be honest <laughs> look at the phones look at the phones hardly any dancing everyone's just it's a really again like i said before it's an odd crowd the tech house crowd isn't it they treat djs like um like bands or like artists or rappers i don't know it's interesting isn't it? they all just stand there like looking at the person like just squash up looking at them it's like very bizarre when when you go see a dj play you'd imagine because in my head i see festivals or these kind of stages as an extension of the club right so you're kind of doing it in an open air environment, like in a, like kind of you know that's where the term open air comes from, right? You're kind of doing it like in a you know in a bit of a free environment, it's a pub, maybe different stages around, but it's an extension of the club. So if it's an extension of the club, you don't really care where the DJ is located. You just want to dance, right? Oh, he's playing sick. Harvey's on. Duh, 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 duh. You might be good to get a bit of wave, say his name, say you love him, whatever, but just keep it moving. But you're not just gonna stand there like with your hands in it like that, looking at the person. It's just a bit odd. That's the thing. That's the only thing that really I don't know that look at and I'm a bit. I, I'm a bit miffed by, but again, the production of this event is impeccable. Big, massive, what's to call it? Um, what do you call it? Is it auditorium? You say them right? Auditorium shapes thing, very well produced. But this has to be a responsibility of the of the promoters. They're the ones that did this, right? It wasn't Michael Bibby's fault, was it? Because, you know, like, again, if this is your kind of vibe and you kind of, you know, break lockdown to go see him at like this, then, you know, I, I get it. And for him as well, it must be a good event to go to. Still no dancing. That's a good tune as well. Still no dancing. Look. Minimal dancing. Interesting, isn't it? Man's got a pill in his mouth. Both. Still no dancing. The camera's doing more movements than the actual people. God almighty, man. What a bizarre people. What a bizarre group of... Uh, what a bizarre subsect of the dance music scene, isn't it?
very interesting. Even the people that go to Tomorrowland seem to have a little bit more fun dancing and having a, a jovial time at the event and these lot. Very interesting. And again, blame the promoters. Don't blame the DJs, in my opinion. That's what I think. I think that should be the case. And also, um, yeah, I don't know, man. Blame the promoters. Really blame the promoters. I, I really think the promoters need to take responsibility for this because to put on an event of that scale, knowing what's going on, especially in Italy, right? Like, they live in... Like, <coughs> most. I'd imagine most of the Mediterranean people have a very close connection or close relationship with... Um, the older members of their family, right? They all live usually in the same house. And I think that's why they said coronavirus ravaged through the Mediterranean a lot more than it did in other places in Europe because they tend to all live in the same household. Um, they take care of their older people and their family. So there is more likelihood that you're able to kind of <coughs> um, pass the virus on between family members. I think we even remember seeing cases of people in Italy uh, contracting uh, corona, right? And then passing it on to the entire household and people, you know, it's just some tragic stories. So you'd imagine they'd be a little bit more responsible and a little bit more kind of aware of what they're doing. And like, hey, we can't take the piss too much because, you know, literally we live with grandma and she could legitimately die. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe it's just a natural reaction to all that misery. They just want to get out and celebrate and they don't want to think about um, anything too much, right? They've had a really torrid time. The, the economy is suffering. People probably don't have that great prospects now going forward with all this time being spent under lockdown. Maybe it's just a natural reaction to just be like, you know what? Let Leave me alone. I don't. I know it's not right. I'm just going to put on this event so I can have some level of like um, positivity this year um, concerning everything that's going on. I don't really know, man. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do, would you blame the promoters? Do you blame the DJs? Um, is everyone to blame is no one to blame what's the deal let me know in the comments down below